Yeah. Right. Yeah. Would you like to pass me some? Oh, some crackers, some certainly. Crackers. Yeah. No, 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 the table. Just stand the table. Oh, it oh, turned yeah. round. It's a revolving oh, table. Right. right. Which way? Which way? Either way. Either way. Do you want to right? seem to be... No, 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 no. Just turn. Stop me. It doesn't go there. Excuse me. The, uh, the table. It, it, it doesn't revolve. It, it, it's not turning. It should ah. revolve. Testing, 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 testing. Okay, right. Okay, we're at Maxwell Food Centre and we're here to try Ye Lai Xiang a tasty barbecue. One of the early pioneers of Hainanese style a Western food in a hawker centre. Actually, probably the birthplace of Hainanese style Western food in a hawker centre. Ye Lai Xiang started operations in a Tangling Hawk Food Centre in 1971. It was opened by the late Chef Leon, who had been the head chef of the British Navy in Singapore until the British pulled out also in 1971. The store moved on to Commonwealth Crescent Food Centre, but after suffering serious burns in 1976, Chef Leong relocated again to Commonwealth Avenue Cook Food Centre. It was there that the store really established itself as the place to go for classic and proper Hainanese style Western food. Chef Leong passed away in 1998. The original recipes were passed on to his third son, Vance. A decade later, they had to relocate once again as Commonwealth Avenue Cook Food Centre was scheduled to be demolished in 2011 under the Selective On Block Redevelopment Scheme. Serves. And while the bulk of the hawkers actually moved on to nearby Mailing Hawker Centre, the store decided, or rather the second generation owners, decided to venture out to Newton Food Centre instead. But after an unsuccessful stint, they shifted to right here in Maxwell Food Centre in 2012. Aside from the fact that every ingredient like the grilled meats, french buns and baked beans are quite high quality here, the one ingredient which is kind of like a signature move for them is their sweet, tangy, savoury brown sauce which is added into every dish, except for the fish and chips. So how they make it is this, butter and flour is added to a bone and vegetable stock after which a whole host of western style sauces like HP sauce, Liam Perrins, Worcestershire sauce, Tabasco sauce, red wine, vinegar and other secret spices are actually added to the mix. Here you come, let's have a taste. I came at the wrong timing obviously, it's bloody crowded, it's lunch time. I ordered two things, I ordered the chicken chop, yeah, the chicken cutlet. Okay, the chicken chop is basically grilled uh, chicken meat and the chicken cutlet is marinated and it's breaded and there you go. Oh my god, good. Wow, the meat is soft beyond belief, oh my god. Soft, it's moist, it's a fairly nice crispy texture outside. And the breading is also not too thick as well, it's quite thin. I'll show you the inside of the meat. There's a very light seasoning to the chicken, if not at all. Everything, the flavours are quite light here. You try the classic brown sauce which everybody raves about. It's what they pride themselves in serving. The consistency is on the thicker side. Slightly sweet and sour, savoury brown sauce on it. It goes for kind of like a sweet and sour flavour on it. The flavour is something like sweet and sour pork. All the flavours are toned down and then you've got the grilled meat flavour inside. The savouriness is about there, maybe it's a little bit more savoury. That's more or less what it tastes like. It's very different from the normal hawker style sauces that you get. Slightly watered down brown sauce. They serve a crinkle cut flies.
We do cut fries, we expect not salted. So if you want it salted, you have to ask them for some salt if they have any. And they serve butter as well. Look at that. I have no idea what brand this is. Beer Demicel. Salted butter from. I don't know where it's from. That's what it looks like inside. And the butter is salted butter. Well, no, yeah, no. It's obviously not high quality French butter or anything. But it's pretty okay. Now the bread is nice and soft. It would be nice if it was a bit toasted, but it's not. That's how they want to do it. Fine. Well, it's like a lot of Chinese bread. Very, very slight sweetness. Soft, very, very soft, slightly sweet bread. And goes well with the butter. Oh, okay. All right. Can't go wrong with salted butter and slightly sweet soft bread. Now they serve the normal, um, the normal frozen veg variety, um, carrots, corn, and peas. Carrots, corn, and peas. We have actually boiled it in quite salty water, so there is actually quite a lot of flavor coming through. Right. Now for the chicken chop. Tender, moist. This is great stuff. Nice bit of skin hanging off there. Can't go wrong with grilled chicken skin. Fried egg. It's not soft inside, it's basically um, towards the hard side. So they basically just put it on the fry and they leave it until it's crispy and then they serve it to you. As for the portions, they're on the huge side. You do get impressive cuts of meat where it is actually rather thick. The meats are actually rather chunky. It's not like thin pieces of meat in some places where you get. And you can tell that they're trying to save costs. But for what you're paying, $758. It's about fair, you know. You're not getting value for money, you're getting what it is worth. Okay, if you're a big eater and you're wondering whether you'll be full by such a meal, you will be pretty full. I think so. If you've eaten a lot of chicken chop, right, they give you one standard piece. But right here they give you one and a half. So it is quite a substantial portion. Also another thing, if you order here and you're expecting baked beans, right, don't order the chicken. Because the chicken comes with uh, frozen vegetables, chips and bread and that's it. There's no baked beans to speak of. When it comes to the pork chops and the pork cutlets, that's where they add the baked beans in. But I don't think you actually get any frozen vegetables. So bear that in mind. If you're a savoury freak, I would say uh, skip this place. There isn't very much of a savoury burst in here at all. The flavours are very, very toned down savouriness, a slight oil richness, the meat flavours, slightly sweet, slightly sour. Testing, testing, testing. Okay. We're here on day two again to try some more items from here, like Siang Tasty Barbecue. Now, before I actually go on, how they do the cutlets is this whether it was chicken cutlet or pork cutlet, they have a piece of meat which they sort of like uh, dip in egg yolk, then breadcrumbs, uh, a thin coating of breadcrumbs, and then they just deep fry it, that's all. So they actually do it on the spot. Uh, they don't actually uh, pre prepare the cutlets and then sort of like leave it overnight or anything like that. The pork dishes is where you actually get the baked beans. They are seriously the real deal. Heinz English recipe baked beans. Heinz baked beans. The original, only the best. Thick consistency, the melting beans, soft, savory, with a very slight tinge of sweetness and sourness. It doesn't overwhelm. The reason why the baked beans are so special is because in a lot of Western stores, right, they actually give you like the cheapest baked beans you can think of. It is seriously cheap, it's watery, not a lot of flavor, a bit too tangy, it just doesn't taste right at all. That's why the fact that you can get Heinz English recipe baked beans here, right, is absolutely amazing. It's the proper deal. I didn't like the fries the other time, but let's try it now. Yeah, but not bad the fries, but they're not salted and it's not fried to any level of crispiness. If you just leave in the fryer for just a few more seconds, it's not salted, but there is the option of actually adding some salt onto the fries, you know, if you want. So as you can see, it's quite a thick piece. And there's a fat on top as well. Oh, okay. It's salted, it's nicely done. It's juicy enough, but just barely juicy enough. But for a hawker standard level, right, this is amazing. You get two pork chops, two and a half pork chops here, look. One, there's two, three over there. So it's two and a bit. Similarly for the pork cutlet, it's three smaller sizes, but it equals to kind of like two large pieces. One, two, three. More or less, more. 
Oh, very nice. It's not juiciest in the world. At the hawk level, it's pretty okay. It's about just juicy enough, bordering on being slightly dry. But the fact that you get sauce with it, it's fine. The breading is actually very, very thin. The breading is very thin, you see? Another bite of the pork chop with gravy. Mm. It's really eating on the cheap, but it is not dirt cheap. It's like one or two steps up from the cheapest of a lot. You do get a little bit more quality, thicker cuts of meat. Here, you actually get a real meat feeling here. But I think that what they sacrifice is the tenderness of the meat a little bit. It's flash fried, it's served you straight away. You lose quite a lot of moisture, so like halfway throughout the meal. Then again, you pay eight bucks, and seven bucks, eight bucks. If you want a cheap place to get your meat fix, but you don't want to so like go completely cheap, you want to spend a little bit more money, this is the place. The portions are quite generous, which is why you will actually get your meat fix here, confirm. Okay, hi. Um, we're back at Yeah Lai Siang Tasty Barbecue for a third time. So I've tasted the chicken chop, chicken chop, pork chop, uh, chicken cutlet. What do you think? I'm hungry. If you don't know who she is, she's my wife. Really? Say hello. Hello. We can't possibly taste everything. We're gonna stop up to here, which is the mixed grill and the fish and chips. There are still two items which I haven't tasted, which is the... Lamb chop. The lamb chops and the sirloin, sirloin steak. steak, that's it. Oh, yeah, coleslaw. Coleslaw without mayo, which is great. It's not mixed together. Yeah, so it's basically um, coleslaw. Okay, coleslaw with no mayo at all. Like a savory, tangy, Crunchy like vegetables, like a, very very lightly pickled. It's actually more savory than pickled. Carrots, cabbage, onions. Oh, there's an onion. Oh, no, see. Wow, look at that. See, amazing. I'm gonna try the fish and chips. They actually batter it on the spot. They actually cut the fish. They dip it in some sort of marinade, five ten second marinade. And then they actually flour it up a bit. They put the egg wash, and then they put the breadcrumbs, and it comes out like this. There we go. Okay. Quite moist fish. The batter is the same batter which they use for the cutlets. Thin and crispy. I'm not too sure what fish it is. Some form of white fish. Quite firm. Quite firm. Yeah. yeah. And the tartar sauce. So I don't think it's tartar sauce. My taste. So it's um, sour mayo tartar sauce. Okay. But it is not the tartar sauce which you know it where it's got like pickles inside or anything like that. It's creamy, it's got a slight sour tinge in it. It just doesn't have the texture of it. Okay, here's the fish. A bit of the coleslaw, tartar sauce. Yeah. Huh? It's quite nice actually. So it's eight dollars and you get three whole pieces, which is Ew. quite <laughs> Quite awesome actually. Mixed grill. I wasn't sure whether to order the, the mixed grill, the lamb chops or the sirloin steak. So we kind of ordered the mixed grill because it offers a little bit of everything. It does actually offer you the, the steak plus the lamb chop, one lamb chop. So it sort of like represents the other two dishes in a way. Yeah, actually it smells good. Now I've already tasted the sauce but I really want my wife to taste the sauce. Mm. They have a little bit of tomato sauce in it. Quite nice, less that barbecue smoky taste, but not overly sweet. She has a more or less spot on. She's a better taster than I am. No, not true. You are better. What are you up to? Okay, um, mistake. It's kind of like a well done in a way. Oh, okay. Okay. Very juicy. Well done. Very, very nicely done. Not dry? No, not dry. Nice seasoning to it. It is just a hair below well done. And it's still quite uh, moist inside. Good texture. Yeah, it's got a nice meaty texture. Not hard at all. But let's see how it performs for like halfway through the meal. Sausage. Oh. It's like one of those hot dog buns, sausages from a can. And what they do is that they take out the can and then they actually put it in the fryer. It's got that processed hot dog taste to it. Right? Quite tasty actually. Yeah, quite tasty. Yeah. They are like the bigger versions of cocktail sausages. The lamb. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not particularly soft, it's not particularly hard, it's really in between. It's actually not particularly impressive actually. Very, 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 very lightly seasoned. It's okay, it's alright. Heavy lemmy? Not that I know of. You want to try some? I'm not a fan of lemmy. 
no, not black. Not very lemmy. Some yeah, lemmy, very strong lemmy taste, and that's when you know the meat is not fresh. Yeah, that's right. But this doesn't have a very strong lemmy taste. It still tastes of lamb, but it's light. But I know what you mean by no flavor because there's no like seasoning. Yeah, on yeah. There's uh, there's a lack of seasoning on top. Cool. One more bite. Okay. It's really starting to get a bit dry actually. I think you need to taste it right at the beginning. When you first but it's yeah. impossible to eat everything right at the beginning. The main problem here is that the meats actually do go dry. Halfway through the meal, if you sort of like let it linger right, it's gonna dry out very, very quickly. But I think it's only for the meat. The fish is okay. Maybe the meat. The chicken. Nice. But already it's starting to get a bit dry already. And for the pork as well, pork. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, a bit hard, a bit dry. When you first receive it, you eat it, it's like wow, nice. And it quickly loses. We're sort of like um, 15 minutes into the meal. meal. Uh, the bacon. Oh, yeah. Ooh, so. This is nice. Okay, now that's a nice piece, right? Yeah. And that's in the middle, so it's actually pretty well done, actually. The Quick. steak is quite well done. Quite soft, though. No, okay. Yeah. It's soft. No. Yeah. Tender. The steak is good. The lamb, no, okay, come back. The pork, no, okay, come back. So the meats are very chunky. They do actually give you a lot of it. The problem is that probably because it's a lower quality, they don't rest the meats, that it just dries out quite quickly. That's where the price difference comes in. Between a restaurant where you pay 40, 50, 60 bucks, and this. I mean, I will actually come back here for, for Western meal fix. More lamb, just make sure. Chewing, 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 chewing. The big piece. It's obviously nice because I might took the bit with the fat. Later. Yeah, the uh, pork chop is uh, quite dry. Feels it. Yeah. Feels it when I'm cutting. Oh, but you've got the fat here. Yeah. I, I give the good things to my husband. The pot is dry. Right, right? Even the pot near the fat. Yeah. This is the third time we're eating the pork. So when you first eat it, right, it's well done. There's just enough moisture not to make it dry. And then it sort of dries out after that. That is the problem. And they give you a lot of it. Thanks for watching another episode of uh, Fat Big Eats. Uh, guest starring my wife. And if you like this episode, give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye! She said that she was so tired, she's not gonna say a word, but she's uh, actually speaking quite a lot. I know, I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> my, how come? Because I'm no longer hungry. You know, angry plus hungry. The buns and the salted butter. It's like one of the best things. Huh? I'm going to eat more butter. I'm going to bring it home. Are you hot? Do you want to use your fan? You know, why did you show the fan? She bought me this. Then you put it in your phone and uh... Whoa, check it out! See? Whoa, instant fan. And it died. What is it died? No. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.